What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So we actually have some very good news as of this afternoon because now lawmakers are discussing a new bill. They actually want to do away with the Build Back Better Act, start completely over, start fresh with you know pretty much all clean right back to the beginning. Now, why is this good news? Well, I'll address this in a minute. So we got major stimulus updates there. We also know that uh, Nancy Pelosi and Senator Joe Manchin are talking about this new bill, this potentially new stimulus package, and that's really good news. We also know Nancy Pelosi addressed the fact that she is now open to a stock trading ban for lawmakers. That's big. It's a complete shift from where she was just at last week. So I want to break down what is going on there and why she should potentially be open to a ban on trading stocks. So I'll address that in just a minute. First off, so I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. And if you could, if it just takes a second, it's absolutely free. Go ahead and hit that like button. It really does help out the channel. But let's get into the update. Today, we are seeing more and more reports that Democrats are worried that these elections will not be fair. They say that uh, they must overhaul the voting rights bills in order to ensure that the American people get their voice heard. But at the same time, they're also stating that in the past that the elections couldn't be stolen, but now they're saying that elections will be stolen if things do not change. Millions of Americans are pointing out the simple fact that each party fights for only what they see as a benefit to them. And that's what's so frustrating. So I completely understand if you're frustrated, uh, again, I am as well about what is going on. And it seems like neither party as of right now is looking after the American people. Right now, everybody seems like they're just worried about how we are going to vote in the upcoming elections. And that is what's very disappointing. But at the same time, we have some good news. We have some good news to those of you that are wanting a new bill for the American people. Nancy Pelosi stated that a new bill must be negotiated. She also believes that this new bill will likely need to be smaller and that the term a Build Back Better Act can't be reused and this next bill needs to be renamed. Now, I want to address that. I want to address the reason why. What we are hearing is Build Back Better. Now, let's, let's really dig into that for a second because according to experts, Build Back Better, when we were, when the economy was strong, right, the stock market was doing great, that was fine. But Build Back Better, when the stock market's plunging, when the American people are still not back at work, when COVID cases are surging once again, hospitalizations are up, right? Deaths are still continuing. How can build back better from, from nothing or from a very, uh, a very tough place? Build back better? Yeah, okay, great. But now the term build back better is not seen as a good term. So according to multiple experts and lawmakers, this has to change because we, again, and it's so frustrating. I told you guys this uh, months ago that this Build Back Better Act, it wasn't called the Build Back Better Act. This was called the American Families Plan because the, the funding, the money, the, the stimulus was supposed to go to families. But guess what? Individuals who were being left out of this bill, their voice was heard. And so lawmakers changed it. They changed it. They called it the infrastructure bill. They called it the stimulus package. But then there was no stimulus check, so they had to flip it again, went back to the infrastructure bill. Then they had to change it again, and then when they went to the Build Back Better Act. Now they want to change it again, but the reports are put many of the same pieces back into the bill. Now here's the good news. The good news is that Nancy Pelosi's opened to getting pieces of this bill pretty much broken up into chunks negotiating those chunks to see what pieces would get support from Senator Joe Manchin. And yes, she mentioned that President Biden calling for chunks is a very interesting word and pretty much made fun of him for it. But she also went on to say 
that she has some major pieces that she wants to see preserved in the next spending package. Now, here's what we know according to Nancy Pelosi. She wants hundreds of billions of dollars to go towards climate change. Uh, Senator Joe Manchin, he originally proposed $500 billion. We knew it was right about 500 to $550 billion coming from the Biden administration anyway, so they were very close. She also wants to expand health care coverage to millions. This is a high priority, not just for her, but for many Democrats. And, and according to experts, they are saying that if, if there is not additional health care coverage for millions of Americans, what's going to happen is Democrats are going to lose the midterm elections. They're going to lose the House and the Senate. We also know Nancy Pelosi stated that she wants to lower prescription drug prices. This is big. This would help out millions of people. But at the same time, some are saying that they don't spend that much money on prescriptions. So it's really not going to help them. A stimulus check would help them. Additional assistance elsewhere would help them. But prescription drug prices aren't really going to impact them. Nancy Pelosi also reiterated that she doesn't want to give up on children. She wants to pass universal preschool and expanded child tax credit payments. That's what she wants. Now, whether or not this actually happens, we don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. But she did have this to say, and I, I want to break this down as well in just a second. She states, and I quote, We have to have care at home, whether it's for children or older siblings or parents. There are big chunks of the bill that have to be contained in the new bill. Now, here's what I want to, what I want to break down. She says we have to have care at home, whether it's for children or older siblings or parents. Now, when we are talking about care at home, one of the ways that we can get care at home, especially for you know older, uh, you know older people. Now, when older, you know, 50, 60, 70, right? What we need to keep in mind is that seniors who got the 5.9% cost of living adjustment, there's many seniors that are actually getting less benefits now than last year because of that adjustment. So that's not great. So when we're talking about having uh, more or better care at home, I think that should be one of the things that is being looked into. But talking about Social Security, Especially night right now with with this uh, with this current Congress, it, it seems like they just don't want to tackle this issue, mainly because they won't get the support. But at the same time, the 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 problem is they're pushing things that the American people don't want. Now, President Biden stated yesterday that he really wants to see free community college, and child tax credit payments get included. But at the same time, he said he's not sure if he could get enough support for this. But I think this is interesting that he's bringing up free community college again, when in the past, that was the first provision to go. The very first provision was free community college, gone. That was X'd, right? That was that was gone. It, there was no way that was going to pass. It wasn't even Republicans that, that axed it. Democrats were the ones that actually pulled that. Said, no, we don't need that. And we did hear from uh, Representative Richard Neal. He's the chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee. And he said that President Biden or the White House has said anything about child tax credit payments being cut out. But the assumption as of right now is that not enough senators would even support the provision as it stands right now, which means it would either need to be changed or it just won't pass. And according to lawmakers, <laughs> and again, this is so frustrating, but according to lawmakers, they would rather see a bill not pass. Okay, And, and again, I, I don't understand the thinking behind this, but... Lawmakers would rather see the child tax credit payments not pass and they negotiate them for you know potentially years and years versus giving the child tax credit payments to people that make less money. Instead of families that make $400,000, maybe families that make $100,000 or less, you know, $60,000 or less, let's give the child tax credit payments to them. But no, let's not do that. Let's, let's negotiate for six months or a year and then let's uh, figure out we just don't have the support and so we never pass a bill that would include you know payments to families that make two hundred thousand one hundred fifty thousand dollars and so it's really frustrating but that's currently where we're at so we don't we don't know what's going to happen but here's what i can tell you will not happen nancy pelosi stated 
that there will not be any bills, any votes for a standalone bill. She said that this entire bill must be passed as a budget reconciliation, meaning the entire package must be presented together. And the reason for this is because if it's not a reconciliation bill, then Democrats would need to get 10 Republicans on board in order to see it pass. And at this point, that is very unlikely to happen. Besides, Republicans are not going to give Democrats another win this close to the midterm elections. Now, could we see a standalone bill pass next year in 2023? Yeah, but at the same time it might pass next year, but the bill will be written by Republicans. So there's a big change. We could see big changes coming. But here's the key. Senator Joe Manchin said it's pretty simple. He stated that inflation, COVID, and the national debt must be dealt with first. He also stated that whenever negotiations begin again, they will be starting from scratch and that his offer that he made back in December, this is now off the table. So we are starting from a clean slate there's really nothing that is going to be prioritized as of right now. We, we did hear that it was going to be climate, but according to some lawmakers, that isn't the priority. The priority is going to be inflation and it's going to be dealing with COVID. Those are the two things. Dealing with the national debt, that's Senator Joe Manchin. But if we can deal with inflation and COVID, then we could potentially have a deal. So we'll see what happens there. We also heard from Nancy Pelosi today regarding stocks, and she said she would be open to banning lawmakers and staff from trading stocks. Currently, there are rules in place that lawmakers must follow, but reports just recently found out that more than 200 congressional staffers and dozens of lawmakers have not been compliant with this law. However, Nancy Pelosi says that if members want to ban lawmakers from making trades, then she is okay with that. But let's address this for a second. And I've talked about this before and asked you guys for your thoughts and everyone said the same thing. Lawmakers should not be allowed to trade stocks because they are already you know, privy to this insider information. They are the ones making the rules, making the laws. Like when uh, we talked about, and this has been a little while ago, but when we talked about how there could potentially be, you know, uh, you know lawmakers could come after uh, crypto uh, investors, traders, miners, right? They could come after cryptocurrency as a whole. When we saw this, crypto kind of fell. Well, if we knew, if lawmakers knew that this bill was going to be an idea, but it was going to, you know, come, we we're going to address it, and then we're like, yeah, we're not going to do that. Well, what was going to happen was crypto was going to fall, but eventually, when the American people, uh, well, not just the American people, but when any investor, realize, okay, the United States isn't going to ban crypto, guess what happened? It just went right back up. And so investing into crypto at this time would have been great. And as a lawmaker, if you saw this coming, you'd be like, ah, that's no big deal. You know, it's no big deal. We could just buy in. Well, that's, that's an issue. But here's the reason why I think this is so important. And multiple reports pointed the fact, pointed out the fact that Nancy Pelosi knows that even if this bill were to pass, it probably wouldn't take effect this year. It would most likely be something that would be a continuation or a, a talk that would go into 2023. Well, this is likely going to be Nancy Pelosi's final year in Congress. So why would she care if lawmakers are banned from trading stocks? She wouldn't. She would not care one bit because, well, she'd be done. So. Right now, she wouldn't be upset by this change, but she is stating that if if members of Congress want this to pass, then, then that's she's okay with that, and she's open to that. So we're going to see what happens there, but I think it's, it's very interesting that we're getting these discussions now because over the past couple years, lawmakers have made millions. They have made millions off of these trades simply because they knew what was going on, you know, uh, I watched a video uh, just the other day uh, kind of outlining um, billionaire Bill Ackman and how he pushed President Trump to lock down, shut everything down. At the same time that he was pushing Trump and getting on interviews and all this stuff, he was he was actually shorting the market. And so he made billions of dollars. I think it was like two point some billion dollars. 
and it happened very quick. It was very quick. I think it was like a week or something that he made $2 billion. And so it's interesting what, uh, you know, high profile people, uh, you know, lawmakers, that they get this information and they can really run with it and they can make money and everything's fine. So we'll see what happens there, but I'd love to hear your ideas and your input on what is currently going on. So please let me know what your thoughts are on all the stuff down in the comment section below. But I just wanna thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.